Hey, what's up, guys? This is BMB and a new tutorial. This time, I choose to build a musical instrument as you saw in the intro of this video. Today's project is a MIDI controller based on an Arduino dev board. Before moving to the video presentation, I remind you to watch our previous project, which is a CNC plotter machine, and you can find the video's link in the description down below. I was searching for this kind of instruments or music-related devices and I found some details about it across the internet telling that this kind of music device is based on two main parts which are the controller as a hardware and the music instruments player as a software. And these parts should be connected somehow so each press on the hardware part should display a specific or configured musical instrument node. In this tutorial, we will take in charge the hardware part and we will create a controller keyboard which has 12 push buttons for digital control and 6 potentiometers for an analog control. So it's, a, it's obvious that all the buttons will be used to display the notes and the potentiometers will control things like sound, volume, tones, etc. We have all these controllers connected to an Arduino Nano board which has all the necessary I.O. pins to hold these inputs together and through its USB connector it will be easy to send instructions from the controller to the software side. By the way, I've picked my own Arduino Nano from seedstudio.com web store where you can get this Arduino and more other electronic devices with some special offers. And I recommend this web store as a supplier, so go there and check it, there is a lot of cool stuff out there. For sure, in order to make a better appearance for our MIDI controller, I have designed this box considering the size of the push buttons and the potentiometers and through a CNC laser cutting process I can produce the designed parts for my project. All what I want you to learn is how to make things by a professional method. So in order to make our work professional I have to customize a PCB for this project to avoid the use of many wires during the assembly. And to do so, I prepared this schematic which has all the needed components connected together to the Arduino Nano board and then I transformed it into a PCB design and all what I need to do now is going to glcpcb.com, the best PCB producers. I was using them service since a quite while now and I recommend them as your PCB supplier. Through some simple clicks, you upload the gerber file and set some parameters like the PCB color and thickness and the last step is paying almost $2 per piece to get 5 PCBs produced. After 4 days only, I've got my PCBs in my hands and as usual, what a quality making for these PCBs as you see guys, this is what we call a professional design and a very well produced PCBs thanks to GLC PCB for these pretty boards. Now let's review the necessary components for this project so we will need the PCB that we've ordered from GLC PCB, one Arduino Nano, one K ohm resistor, some screw heater connectors, 12 push buttons equipped with the micro switches, 4 slider potentiometers, 2 rotary potentiometers, the designed box, and some screw for the assembly. You can find in the description of this video all ordering links in case you wanna buy the same components as mine. Now everything is ready so let's start soldering our electronic components to the PCB and to do so we need a soldering iron and a solder co-wire. As you can see guys using this PCB is easy due to its very high quality making and without forgetting the levels that will guide you guys while soldering each component because you will find on the top silk layer a level of each component indicating its placement on the board. And this way, you will be 100% sure that you will not make any soldering mistakes. I've soldered each component to its placement 
and you can use both sides of the PCB to solder your electronic components. Now we have the PCB ready and all the components soldered very well. Moving to the controllers, we need to place the push buttons each one to its placement on the top side of the bow. It will be so handy placing these push buttons. After that, we screw the slider potentiometers and the same for the rotary potentiometers too. And do not forget to put the potentiometers cover, so using them will be easier for you. After that, we need to solder some wires in order to connect these controllers to the board. In case you faced any difficulties while soldering these wires, just get back to the circuit diagram where it's clear how to place these wires. It's not that much hard, sure if you follow the same circuit diagram. You will have in the end all the push buttons input wires, so just screw them to the heater connectors on the board and do the same for the potentiometers. Last but not least, we take the lower base of our box and we screw the PCB in it. Ok, so after placing the board and its placement, all what we need to do now is finishing the assembly of the box and we finish the hardware part. Let's move to the software part. The first thing you need is the Arduino code that has a full MIDI library for Arduino. So just download it for free from the link down below and upload it to your Arduino. About the music editor, I use Ableton software. But how to link this software to the Arduino instructions that will be sent through the serial port? It's easy since I use loop MIDI software to create the MIDI port in which our Arduino is connected and another software which is Hairless MIDI Serial which will receive the Arduino instructions and convert them to MIDI instructions and then send them to Ableton. You will find in the description a link for a detailed tutorial about how to configure these softwares and how to use them too. So first things first. We run loop MIDI and we create a new MIDI port by giving it a new name. Then we move to hairless MIDI serial and we select the COM port of our Arduino. And as you see, once you select the right COM port, the Arduino starts sending serial commands. In the other side, we select the MIDI port that we have created. Then we move to Ableton settings and under preferences we activate the external input controller device. The last step is mapping the controller functionalities by selecting what each button should control. It's so simple, just select the function in Ableton and press the desired button in your controller and it will be mapped. And once you finish that, you can start playing with your new MIDI controller.
As you see guys, this project is so easy to make and an amazing one, but still some other improvements to perform in order to make it much more better. That's why I will be waiting for your suggestions to improve this MIDI controller. Do not forget to thumb this video if you like it and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more awesome videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BNB from Megadas. See you next time.